Hello my lovely Scorpios. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are going to be doing your second week of November weekly reading. It is a general reading, so it may resonate, it may not, but everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. Whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, or Patreon, it's all in the description box below for you. And happy birthday, my beautiful Scorpios. I hope it's as amazing as you guys are. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my lovely Scorpios, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. Please show me Scorpio's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. Got the Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords in the reverse, Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords in the reverse. We have the Ace of Wands in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. I feel like something is being shown to you about a person. That's the words that I got with the Three of Pentacles is put on display. And the Three of Pentacles can talk about something being put on display. You can see their work is here being put on display for everyone to see. And with this Ace of Wands here in the reverse, I feel like it's something that has, has you really turned off or seen somebody in a different way, a more negative light, right? So I think you're seeing a different side to somebody or seeing, a, seeing something that you didn't um, either expect to see. But I also kind of feel like Something that has really just kind of got you turned off or even maybe a little bit disgusted for some of you guys. So somebody's definitely showing you a side of themselves. Now I have the Eight of Swords in the reverse and the Heart Space. I feel like you guys are choosing to release this person because of that. The Queen of Pentacles. I think you guys have gotten into a space where you are very careful in particular about who, what, and where you give your energy to, right? King of Swords in the reverse here for the action. I feel like there's somebody here that you're just not trusting because based on whatever it is that you're seeing here, I feel like you guys could be cutting somebody out here. And for some of you guys, I feel like you're not even like really, you're not even have the energy or the space to like argue with a person or to explain why. I think you're just kind of like, you know, there's no reason for that. We're going to clarify all this in a minute, but we're going to get the person that you're dealing with. We're going to get their energy out on the table as well. Show me the person that Scorpio is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Scorpio? What is their energy towards Scorpio, please? Seven of Cups in the reverse. Hermit in the reverse. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Four of Swords. The Emperor in the reverse. Some of you guys are cutting this person off. I do feel like they want to communicate with you here. So the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. With the Emperor in the reverse. The Page of Pentacles. With the King of Swords in the reverse. The High Priestess in the reverse. Okay. So I think you're seeing through somebody here. And I think they know that you're seeing through them. Because we have the Seven of Cups here in the reverse. So... I feel like this person doesn't quite know what to do now that you have seen through them. Like they weren't, ex like just as much as you weren't expecting to see this from them, they weren't expecting you to either. But that's what they get for trying to get things past the Scorpio. So we have the Hermit in the reverse here. I feel like they are, this person is going to be trying to communicate with you. But Scorpio, I feel like a lot of you guys have cut off communication with this person. Eight of Wands in the reverse, Four of Swords in the reverse. Some of you guys are just, like I said, that's where that energy I was feeling from you guys of, you know, I don't even want to hear what they said. I don't even want to explain it. Like you showed me and that's all I, that's all I needed to see in here. I feel like some of you guys are just not communicating with this person. Now we have the Emperor in the reverse here. They feel like things are a little bit out of their hands. They're not really sure what to do especially because they can't get you to um they can't get you to engage right so they could be trying to provoke you here and um, provoke a response from you and they're not getting that okay so it's causing them to just feel like they don't really know what to do the five of pentacles in the reverse they want to come they want to reconnect want to come back out of the cold and so i feel like that's what they're trying to uh, message you for but even that the king of swords in the reverse here can be speaking in half truths um, you know, withholding information. I do feel like there has been secrets that have come out. I feel like that's one of the things that you're seeing is you're seeing right through this person and any secrets that they have. 
or you just knowing that they're there is enough, you know? So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to clarify. Tell me about this three of pentacles. Tell me about this three of pentacles. Got the temperance card in the reverse. Whatever it's put on display for you, it's, it's not something little either because um, the temperance can be a card of moderation. So in the reverse, it can be a card of like going big or like excess, like whatever it is that you, whatever it is that is you're seeing or is put on display for you, whatever that is, it it's big for you. It's one of the, it's like a deal breaker type energy. Tell me about this eight of swords in the reverse. You got the five of wands. I feel like you guys are, like I said, being very careful about who, what, and where you give your energy to. I feel like you guys are tired of the conflict. You're tired of the drama. You're tired of dealing with connections and situations like that. People like that. I think that's why you guys are getting to be so careful and protective of your energy. Tell me about this queen of pentacles. The, yeah, the hair fought in the reverse. And that is exactly why that putting being careful about where you invest your time, effort, and energy into is exactly, like, to me, this is like protecting your energy, protecting your space. That's exactly why you're choosing to no longer commit to no longer commit to whatever this is here. You got the King of Swords here in the reverse, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're not interested in, you're just not interested in engaging in that. You're not interested in adding more to it, especially with the Ten of Wands. It's like, this has already been enough. There's no reason to add more to it. Tell me about this seven of cups in the reverse. Got the page of swords in the reverse. They did not want you to find out. They didn't want you to find out. They didn't think you were going to. Or they didn't think that you were going to see like see through them or see this side of them. The tower and the reverse. I feel like they were they're trying to like I don't want to say like either like talk their way out of something or make something seem like it's something other than what it is if that makes sense tell me about this hermit in the reverse got the knight of pentacles not really sure what to do not really sure what the next step is especially since you won't engage and all of their usual methods and tactics are not working tell me about this eight of wands in the reverse the page of wands they're going to continue to try to reach out to you or message you, Scorpio. Ten of swords in the reverse because they don't want this to be the end. Tell me about this four of swords energy. The ten of cups. And the five of cups. So especially for those of you where, you know, some of you guys could have had a family with this person. Or some of you guys, how do I want to put it? Let's just leave it there. You know, either way, even if you don't have a family with this person, I feel like this person saw the potential that you guys had to be happy together, and that's what they're disappointed in. They're grieving that they have lost here. But I still feel like even in even in having some realizations and some regrets in the situation, still not enough to be honest. And that's the thing that's important to remember is they're still not they're still not telling you the whole truth, or they're still not being forthcoming here with you. So we're going to grab another deck, Scorpio. I think that you guys are just, you know, in a really amazing space when it comes to knowing what you are worth and not wanting to settle, not allowing anything to, you know, take you out of that. So I think that that's a really beautiful thing. Now, what doesn't Scorpio see coming in this situation? You got the Queen of Wands. Yeah, going after your happiness, feeling confident in yourself knowing what you bring to the table and not being willing to settle for anything less that is powerful the eight of wands and you're going to be just moving forward there could be some good news coming in for you as well some of you guys are going to be choosing to go out and especially if you guys like have a birthday some of you guys are going to be choosing to go out and you guys could be i feel like meeting somebody but it doesn't necessarily have to be love to me this could just be like um you know, conversating with friends, meeting new people. It doesn't necessarily have to feel romantic, but I suppose it could. So let's go ahead and take a look at what advice we have for you. What advice do we have for Scorpio? I love that even in what you don't see coming is how this isn't going to tear you down. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. I think you're being asked, one, to continue to focus on you in the way that you have been which is you know being protective of your energy of your space and choosing not to settle and figuring out how to be happy and content all on your own 
as well as with this two of pentacles nine of cups it could be figuring out what you really want you could be being really asked to like get a notebook out and spend some time like what kind of relationship do i want what are things that they um, this partner absolutely has to have this relationship absolutely has to have and things that they you know i will not tolerate things that are just you know a deal breaker you know and get really clear about what it is that you're looking for so that you can kind of weed things out right from the start but that is what i have for you guys if it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling, personals, or Patreon, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. Now, my loves, one more thing I want to add before we close out here. Um, when you guys sign up over on Patreon, you get to ask a free question. And over there, we do love readings, but we also do messages from your spirit guides the next 30 days, finances, and things like that as well. But that is what I have for you guys, and I am sending you guys so much love and light. Until next time.